Hello, my name is Sandra and I'm the project officer at Ballymun Community Law Centre. I'd like to take this opportunity to talk about one of the services that we offer, and that's mediation. Specifically, how mediation can help you navigate difficult family situations. But before we go into detail in what kind of family situations that mediation can help, let's talk about what mediation actually is and what the aim of mediation is. The aim of mediation is to help parties involved in a dispute to come to a mutually acceptable agreement to both sides. Mediation can be a time-saving and cost-effective alternative to taking legal action in a dispute. The process is free of charge, it's voluntary, it's confidential, and most importantly, it's impartial. But how does it actually work in practice? So in practice, the both parties that are involved in the dispute get an opportunity to meet with the mediators in private and separately to talk about their side of the story. Following these separate meetings, a joint meeting is then arranged where both parties again get a chance to, to tell their side of the story. The mediator remains neutral and encourages the parties to cooperate with each other to work out a mutually acceptable arrangement. The mediator will encourage communication between family members, promote understanding, and attempt to identify possible areas of compromise by identifying key areas of joint interest. It is expected and normal for family members to face challenges that can sometimes lead to disputes. Sometimes the issues can self-resolve, sometimes the issues themselves are resolved by the family members. However, sometimes the dispute has gone so far that the family members see that they would benefit from a third party who is neutral, who can ensure that everyone's side of the story is heard. And this is where mediation comes in. We have a list of examples of some of the scenarios where mediation can be helpful in family disputes. This is in no way an exhaustive list, but these are some of the common scenarios where mediation can be very helpful. The first scenario is difficult co-parenting relationships. Divorced or separated parents can face significant difficulties in figuring out how to move forward and to build a working relationship as co-parents. Conflict can arise when there are differences on how to move forward on issues such as access, travel, grandparents' rights, and other related issues. A second example where mediation can be helpful is difficult living arrangements. As Ireland faces a housing crisis, more and more people or families have started to live together in shared spaces. In some instances, even separated couples keep staying with each other to avoid one of them falling into homelessness. As can be expected, these scenarios can lead to conflict. In such cases, mediation will help the parties involved to come up with a mediated agreement on how to coexist in a shared space and how to handle conflict as and when it arises. A third example of where mediation can be helpful is the aftermath of, it, of the execution of a deceased estate. While the execution of a deceased estate is a matter to be determined by the law, this is a situation where conflict can arise in families. For example, where one, when one property has been bequeathed to more than one person and there are differences on how to move forward, mediation can definitely be helpful. And last but not least, deciding on a sick loved one's care. In some instances, health issues can cause conflict in a family, especially when there are differences on how to move forward. For example, when a parent falls ill and the children are at odds on how to move forward. The financial and emotional toll that such a decision can take could no doubt bring conflict into the family. Families facing such difficulty can benefit from a mediated agreement on how to go forward. If you see yourself in any of these scenarios or you think your family can benefit from a mediated agreement, visit our website for more information and for our contact details to get started with the mediation process.